there are some cars that you see that come out that never come around again really in any form and this is what we're looking at here Ford excursion for sale on the side of the road which is an awesome thing to see we'll just take a look at it but um, I'll give you a little bit of a talk about why it's interesting when they came out with these back in the early 2000 years they were the largest SUV you could get really on the market and they had a V10 V8 option they had a diesel option changed to a different diesel option later but um, this one here is an, an older let's see it says biodiesel so this might have even been changed over but XLT white and one of the things about these cars is that they were sort of prone to a lot of rust up in the rust belt we happen to be in Ohio today just stopping by to look at it on the side of the road and as you can see there is some rust developing here on the wheel well but when you look underneath at the frame that's really kind of a telltale sign of how rusty it is you can see down in here there's some in here and as we move forward into the front of the car you see you rust down on your frame down over here which is typical for this area but even in southern areas sometimes they will even rust but the real telltale is when you look underneath and you see what's going on under here. Quite a bit of rust, but a lot of times there will be rust along the bottom of the doors. So you have to feel under there to check it out. But just to continue talking about these things, they were very roomy inside and very capable. They could tow quite a bit and of course carry quite a few passengers and if you got one that was you know pretty well optioned out they were very nice you know the, this one here has the nicer wheels and as a used car it's pretty decent condition not only because it's got good tires and some other things about it or in good shape but it has sort of a minimal amount of rust for where we are and that is not really easy to come by anymore because they are um, like I said typically very rusty if this one was taken care of then uh, it would be a good option to purchase it so if this is something that you would have enjoyed getting into let me know in the comments but also look at the front seat the leather on these did tend to crack after they aged a while so something to think about with these but what do you what what say you would you Enjoy something like a early 2000s excursion or would you rather just invest in something newer would you go for something like this it's a biodiesel retrofit tuner possibly if you would how would you approach that as you've seen in our prior videos any car that's been tuned or that has been modified you need to know who did the work how they did it if the person did it themselves you need to ask them some questions about that to see exactly how that came about if they had somebody else do it you want to ask them who did it because whoever did it will determine how well of a job it was 
But in any case, if you like something like this, if you're into these kinds of things, give me a thumbs up. And also, leave me a note on what you think you would do with a car like this. So, until next time, I'll leave you with the last view of this beautiful ride. And let me know what you think. Till next time.